What's going on guys? I'm J-Bob. Um, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please consider subscribing. If not, that's okay too though. Uh, right now I'm going to go and get my dirt bike because I left off in the last video, you know, that, that go-kart. I've been messing with that thing heavily because it's... So uh, what it was originally, my dad got it for me and my siblings when we were younger. And we used it quite a bit and then one day it just quit working. And it sat for, I think almost eight years now so i've been doing a bunch of work to it because i want it to be like our new like go around check the fence uses like a little farm utility type rig and i have it running now actually so like it starts idles just fine and i went to take it on its first drive and then the brakes were locked up and now uh, i i think i finally got them un unlocked so in this video hopefully i'll be able to drive it around of course they're still ironing out you know i gotta make sure that everything works correctly over time but i'm hoping here that in this video i think i'm going to take it for a little cruise right up the road to uh, my brother's house and yeah so that'll be fun but first things first oh yeah me and jordan have been doing a bunch of work over here in this field making it nice and a bunch of hauling and whatnot we got some more stuff that needs to happen but i'm gonna take the the dirt bike back up to the house because i don't want anybody to thief it from us steal it in the middle of the night you know nick it or whatever Whatever you say. But yeah, I'll be back up in the shop in a second and hopefully I'll be driving a go-kart. I guess a proper introduction is required for this little beast. Um, it's a Carter go-kart. It's all one solid frame unibody. It has nice suspension all around. It has rear view mirrors, headlights, turn indicators, everything you'd want in a little go-kart. It's a two-seater, four-point harnesses come around either side of you here and then Big buckle over the top, keep you locked in there. Actually, no, they're five point. Never mind, I forgot. Yeah, five point harnesses keep you locked in. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty sweet little rig. It goes pretty good, but it has been a bitch and a half to get running again after eight years. Uh, I put a new carburetor on it. This is the old one, and all new spark plug stuff. Everything on. It. I was like messing with the fuses and now uh, after draining out the gas from the gas tank and all that and cleaning it, I'm gonna reattach the gas tank and hopefully if all goes to plan, <clears throat> yeah, I've been spraying stuff on it. It has a disc brake back here. Keeps on wanting to be a bit sticky on me. But I've been trying to get that all loosened up and I had to go out and get a new battery for it, but it's been an electrical and mechanical nightmare troubleshooting everything that was actually wrong with this thing that needed to be replaced but i'm hoping now in this video i can finally take it for a drive so i'm gonna finish tightening down the gas tank and i'm gonna start it up and see if i can just go for a nice little cruise out and about maybe i'll take it down to the river or go to my brother's house like i was saying but anyways just a cruise around around the farm we'll tour the property together been run in eight years so I wasn't expecting anything too crazy out of her man it's a sweet little ride though I might have to take this baby down to the river Thank you. 
still feels good. And it still stops. Nice. That's cool. Ooh. Zach has a nice car. And it has a uh, LS in it actually. I'll get him to come out here and like pop the hood so I can show it to you guys. It's actually super sick. But uh, anyways, I drove the go kart over here to the second property my dad has. You know, I've, I've, so, I've shown it before. It has some barns and whatnot on it. Nothing too usable, but like good pasture for like putting cows on. It's the house that Zach's staying in. But the last time that I was actually over here, which I think was like two months ago, this area in here was looking god awful. I mean, it still doesn't look perfect but we've cleaned it out so much we've like hauled out dumpster loads and dumpster loads of stuff and there was a wall right here and we took it down and when we removed it and took all the stuff out zach went ahead and started building this skate park back in here for ripping on the skateboards because zach likes to skate a lot and he's a snowboard he's gonna make this into like a bowl type area but it's a it's a pretty sick setup right now it's just like a little mini half pipe but it's gonna make it into a partial bowl. This is where we're gonna be spending our summer getting crazy with our friends. So it should be a good time. Um, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, Zach broke his collarbone snowboarding yesterday. I gotta show you guys, a, uh, he has an x-ray of it. He's in a sling right now. Fucking dumbass. But, pardon my French, but he's, I mean, he, well, I mean, nah, accidents happen, whatever. But yeah, I'm trying to think. I was gonna show you guys something else, but I can't remember, so I'll turn the camera off and turn it back on in a little bit. Damn, that's Zach's collarbone, by the way. What's that? Oh, nothing, I was just showing off his collarbone. going to edit this thing for um tomorrow and i f saw that i forgot to film an outro so uh, i guess this will be the outro uh sorry that there wasn't too much going on in this video it's just kind of like a update on the go-kart and some other stuff uh i've been spending a lot of long hours in a, the international because we've been doing hauling like non-stop morning to night really long days trying to get all of our solids out before we have to plant our corn because once we plant our corn then we can't haul out any more solids or once we get it all tilled up and then plant you know you understand like all the field working stuff we can't haul any more solids out so i just haven't been doing too much for videos but next video will be on friday so i'll have tuesday wednesday and thursday to get something together to make a, a better video it's just you know i'm wrecked after one monday and going and doing all that stuff on the weekend as well but um thank ever thank you everyone for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace out <laughs>